Hey y'all, welcome back to Nini's Texas Kitchen. Tonight we're gonna make some homemade lemon bars. <clears throat> this is an easy, quick recipe. I've been working all day, so we want something to snack on. We've already finished our angel food cake. You need to go watch that video. And so we're gonna have us some lemon bars that'll last us for a few days. So what we need for our ingredients for the crust, the part that goes in the pan, is two cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and three quarters of a cup of soft butter, okay? So I have all that. Your pan needs to be a nine by 13, and it's not gonna be greased, so you leave it ungreased, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is put my flour into my bowl, like so. Add the sugar. you get it all. <clears throat> mix that up. So I just have a fork and I'm gonna mix my flour and sugar up really, really good. My butter's already softened, so I'm just gonna add it in. And you can use a fork to mix it or you can use a pastry cutter, whichever one you wanna do. I'll probably just use a fork since I already got it out. So when I mix this all up, what you want is for it to resemble, <clears throat> be like little fine crumbles. So you're gonna go into your butter with your fork and kinda cut it up in there and mix it real good like this. <clears throat> I just keep smashing it and then mixing it with the flour, like so. And right before we started filming the video, we went ahead and preheated our oven. Um, we have it preheating now to 350 degrees. So just keep on smushing your butter till it gets broken up into small pieces and mixes with your flour and sugar really good. And <clears throat> once you get it mixed good, when you get ready to press it in the bottom, you'll, you'll press it in the bottom of your nine by 13 and it'll, it'll stick together and form a crust. And then we'll bake it for, I think it's 20 minutes. I have to look to be 100% sure here in just a minute. I think it's 20. So you just keep cutting the butter. It's okay if you want to get in there with your fingers and make sure that your butter and flour mixture gets mixed really good together. Just fingertips. You're not trying to turn it into a dough ball. You're just trying to turn it into a crumbly mixture. Or your butter, flour, and sugar will stick together to form your crust. So. If you were doing like this with your hand, you'd be turning it into a dough ball, but you don't want that. <clears throat> we're not gonna add any water or anything like that to it. It's just gonna be butter, flour, and sugar. But you're mixing real, real good. And then <clears throat> when it gets to the right stage, see how it's all crumbly? And if you do this to it, it holds a shape. That's what you want for when you press it into the bottom of your pan. And I think that's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna taste perfect whenever we're done. So then just put it into your bottom of your number 13. If you wanna make just a small pan of it, you can, um, do like an eight by eight and half this recipe. If you just want a small amount, you don't have to do a full size. So 
when you get it all even in there, just press it down firmly with your hands like this. See how we're flattening it out and making it all firm into a crust. either of those you can use a spoon you just have to stir and beat it really really good so this part calls for two cups of sugar <clears throat> which I already have in my bowl it calls for one fourth of a cup of lemon juice I have that it calls for a fourth of a cup of flour and then it calls for four eggs and I'm using egg yolks only because I have them left from using making my angel food cake. So I'm using eight because you double it if you're only going to use that. Okay. And then it calls for baking powder, one teaspoon, and it calls for one, no, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Yep. <clears throat> That's it. Um, it calls for freshly grated lemon peel, two teaspoons. I don't have any, so you can substitute one teaspoon of lemon extract instead and that's what I'm going to do. So let's get all of this added together. First I'm going to go ahead and beat my egg yolks just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add them to this mixture <clears throat> to make my egg and sugar lemony mixture. Good enough. <clears throat> go ahead and add our flour. Kind of beat that together a little bit. baking powder, not baking soda. It's not cornstarch. It's baking powder. So make sure you're using the right, right one. Okay. Put that in. And then we'll add our teaspoon of lemon extract. Then once it's done, 
let it cool for about 20 minutes or so, and then you just sprinkle the top with powdered sugar. That's all there is to it. So we'll be back whenever we're ready to do the next step. All right, y'all, our crust just came out of the oven and so it's still hot. So now I'm gonna take my filling mixture and I'm gonna pour it over the whole crust. Just like this. And then just kind of make sure it spreads out to all the corners. Like so. Nice and pretty. Now, we're gonna bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And what you're gonna wanna look for is gonna start getting bubbly on top and you wanna see your edges start to get like a golden brown color, okay? So, put it in there. And then we'll be back once it comes out. Okay, our lemon bars are cool, and I put the powdered sugar on the top, so now we're gonna cut them and see what we think. You gotta cut kind of deep to get down in there and through your crust. yellow yellow yummy lemon all right let's give it a try mm. perfect so sweet if you like my video making homemade lemon bars Please like it, share it to others, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget, go watch all my other videos. We'll see y'all next time in Nini's Texas Kitchen.